Today I'll be showing you how to sum data across multiple worksheets in Excel. And the catch is that this needs to be dynamic. So whenever we change a value in a worksheet, uh, our total should update as well. The other catch is that the data is inconsistent. And I'll explain this further in a moment as well. So in my example here, I have three spreadsheets, Northeast, Northwest, and South and each correspond to a store and you can see the store's items that they sell the quantity and the sales and in our total spreadsheet over here i want to calculate uh, the total sales and total quantity of each item now again an item over here in northeast it may be sold in the other two stores as well or it may not and the order is also inconsistent. So for example, the iPad Pro 11 inch, this item over here, it might be over here as well, but we don't know in which, um, in which row it is. So we're gonna be finding these values, these items in all three lists. We're gonna be aggregating them over here, finding the unique values, and then finding the total sales for each item. To do this, we're going to be using a couple formulas and a couple of techniques that I'll be showing you. So the first step is for us to aggregate all the data into one place. And this can be a helper column or just a whole bunch of data, which we're going to be lining up over here. And then we can go ahead later on and hide those rows as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the to call function. And this essentially combines data from multiple areas into one column, okay? So my array in this case is going to be from the Northeast sheet all the way to the South sheet. So I'm gonna click on Northeast and I'll hit shift on my keyboard and I'll click on South, okay? So from the Northeast sheet to the South sheet and I want to refer to the items. Now the items are in cell A1 or in cell A2 all the way down. So I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna go Control Shift and down. Now, some spreadsheets have more items as well. So I wanna shift this down. I wanna say about until A100, just because some spreadsheets actually have 100 unique items being sold as well. Like for example, the South location, it may have uh, you know 50 or 60 things being sold, right? And then I'm gonna hit comma here and I'm just going to hit three to ignore blanks and ignore the errors. And I'll close the bracket and press enter. And this returns to me all of the items that are aggregated amongst all three lists. So this does have duplicates, by the way, okay? Because this is essentially, we're taking all of the items sold in each spreadsheet and we're combining them into here. So there are definitely duplicates and that's fine. For now, we don't need to worry about that. And the next thing I'll do here is I want to do the same thing for the sales, okay? Now, you know, in my case here, I don't want to know the quantity, so I'm just going to hide that column. I'm more concerned about the sales, the total sales, okay? So what I want to do is I want to do the same technique for the sales of each item as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the equals to two call once again, and this time, uh, once again, I'm going to select the first spreadsheet and shift and then the last one. And then after that, I'm going to select my rows as well. So in this case, in column C is where my sales are. So from C2 all the way down. Again, I'm going to go until C100 just because some worksheets have many products being sold. And I'm going to go ahead and hit comma, hit three just like last time and press enter, okay? Now I've aggregated all three worksheets into one master table. And so for example, if you go into Northeast, you're gonna see iPad Pro 11 inch for 46.75. And if we actually go there, you can see that, right? And the last item is in the South sheet. If you go all the way down, the last item is Nintendo for 10,983. So if we go all the way down to the list, you're going to see our Nintendo for 10,983. This means that we got all of our data. We haven't missed anything. 
if we didn't have this Nintendo over here, that means that we need to extend our, um, our columns because we're missing some data, okay? Now the next step is to find the unique list of items, okay? Because again, right now we've just aggregated all three tables. So in cell A2 here, I wanna find the unique list of items being sold across all sheets, okay? I only want the items that are common amongst all three spreadsheets. Um, so I'm gonna go equals to uh, unique and I'll select the cell F3 and I'll hit the hash as well. That's going to select the entire uh, column. And as you can see, these are the unique items. So there are from row two all the way down to row 51. So just about 50 uh, products, 50 unique products. So what I'm going to do here is now I want to calculate the sales for each item as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do equals to sum ifs open bracket okay now what is the sum range well the sum range in my case is going to be from cell g3 right these are all the cells and just going downwards so i'm going to hit hash once again and i'm going to lock this cell as well so i'll just press f4 to lock it because as we go down i don't want uh, it to not calculate the other products as well and then i'm going to hit comma here and my second condition or the criteria range is the criteria for the sum is going to be the products. So I'm going to do the same thing for the products. Hit the first cell here, um, hit the hash, and then lock it as well using my F4. I'm using a Windows laptop, so I use F4. But if you have a Mac, I believe it's Command F4. And then go ahead and I want to hit the criteria. So my criteria in this case is gonna be this first item. I'm not gonna lock this because as I go down, I want it to show the other items as well. And then after that, I'm just gonna close the uh, brackets and I'll press enter and we're getting total sales. So I can simply go ahead and drag that down and I can convert that to dollar format as well. And then we can go ahead and we can hide these sheets, these, uh, columns as well and we have our neatly formatted table now the thing is that this is dynamic as well so anything you change within your source spreadsheets it'll reflect upon here as well and to show you an example here let's take for example um, you know Amazon fire okay uh, total sales were 24,890 okay now let's go here and let's make this let's add $100 to this okay and let's go back here now, as you can see, this is 24,990. So we added $100 just because we made those changes. So this is completely dynamic as well, and it'll change as well. And as you can see, we were able to aggregate the data uh, to cleanse it, to find the unique values, and then to return the unique sales as well. So I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you so much for watching.